Hi, welcome to another video at bananacomputers.com. Today we're just going to have another look at the Alienware. This time we're going to have a look at the control panel that comes with it as part of its inbuilt software. It's called the Alienware Command Center. We're just going to have a quick look at that, see a few of the features and one of the things that we're going to have a look at is how to change the colors on the machine itself. Start the command center. And here we are. This is the control center. The first of the options up, as you can see, is the thermal controls. It gives you the status and some manageability on your profiles for all the thermal controls, as you can see from ambient, HD, other ones that you might be interested in, GPU and CPU and so forth. Got the top fan, PCI fan listed there. Next one along is Alien FX. This allows you to customise the colouring around the, around the system itself. And as you can see, there are multiple illuminated spots on the system, on the actual chassis. And you can change these by just selecting the corresponding number and changing the colour. Along the bottom here, the next one along is the Fusion, which is for your power plans. You've got your basic settings in the quick settings and you've got your advanced settings, as you can see. Basic power plan settings, you can do custom power plans. And then of course some old, other options that you can change for the power plan itself. Next along is Alien Adrenaline, which is a wonderful little feature where you can set all the, the settings that you need for your favourite games, they can be customised to each game so that your settings load with each game as and when you load them, so you don't have to do any tweaking in game. And then of course the final one along the bottom, this is the overclocking, this is our OC profile and as you see we've got a general profile, we've got the ability to manipulate the CPU and the RAM of course. 